The JCC Maccabi Games, the Young People's Jewish Olympics, has got underway in New York State. It's a chance for these young athletes, themselves hopeful Olympians of the future, to come together and compete. But it's also an opportunity to look at what it means to be Jewish in today's modern society. The opening ceremony made it clear this was about more than just sport. 1,500 competitors from around the world, all with a shared identity. Teenagers from Israel, Mexico, Britain, Canada and across the United States entered the arena to begin the week-long all-Jewish games. There was also a minute's silence to reflect on the fallen, to remember the 11 Israeli athletes and coaches who were murdered at the Munich Olympics in 1972. And a speech from Anki Spitzer the widow of fencing coach Andre, who has campaigned for 40 years for the International Olympics Committee to commemorate those killed. They are not being remembered because of only one reason, because they were Israelis and they were Jews. They are discriminated again and we are not going to accept that. It's pledged to continue her fight taking it to the next Olympics in Brazil in four years' time and beyond if needed. We are not going to stop. If I'm too old to continue and, you know, we will have our children and the children of our children until we hear the words. And it, it, it shouldn't be that complicated. It, it, it's very simple. Just remember the members of your own Olympic family. They lived in the Olympic village. They were killed in the Olympic village. And that is where they should be remembered. The Games sees teenagers competing in more than a dozen different sports. Some of these players hope to take their talents even further, perhaps one day competing for their country's Olympic team. Here, the athletes are encouraged to focus on their Jewish identity. It's what has brought them together at the Games, a unifying factor that bonds them, no matter where they're from in the world. You learn a lot about how Jew Jewish people are around the world about how a lot of them are from different cultures and they act differently, but you still feel as if you all have like one common th thing with them. It helps us to see what our Jewish roots come from and like how they're important. It's not about really all about the games, it's more about the embracing the whole experience and understanding it and reflecting on, on who you are and your background, your heritage. It's cool to see like everyone together, just one. It's teaching us what we're really here for and what's the reason, like last night with the Munich 11. It's the opportunity for them to get together, to, to meet in a common playing field of sports, but also have an exchange where they get to know each other, but they have that Jewish background as a core, uh, as a core foundation that they all share together. Rachmanus, or compassion, is a defining value of the Games and Judaism as a whole. Athletes are reminded to show compassion to their opponents, something that's become a cornerstone of the competition. Well, it's just like sportsmanship. It's like, like the team we just played was very nice to us. Like, they weren't poor sports about anything. Everyone's been great. It's really important. Everyone's good sportsmanship. Everybody's nice to each other. We don't, nobody's purposely horrible. Play well, play nicely, play fair. It's really nice, yeah. The games continue in New York for the rest of the week before these athletes return home, maybe with medals, but undoubtedly with new friends. These games have brought together thousands of Jews from around the world to join in the shared values of sport and religion. And as the minute's silence at the opening ceremony showed, for these young people, it's a chance to remember their past from where they came, while also looking to their sporting future. This is Nick Harper for JN1 in Rockland County, New York.